been moving boxes all morning. <laughs> and then I went to the body shop. I just bought so many parts. Little paw prints and, all over. And bought. I feel what Scott feels like. I feel shameful. Just <laughs> shameful. <laughs> Don't even explain yourself. Let's just move it's on. Just, anyway, what are we doing today? Well, uh, there's some Canadians with a car with the roof chopped off, and they look like they want to break something. Oh, what's up, boys? Hi there, I'm Ken Block. We're dropping this NFT collection. Myself, Ash Thorpe, and the Hoonigans on E30D.io, October 21st at 12 p.m. Eastern. A couple years ago, I had this idea, this concept called the Huna Fox. And I worked with Ash Thorpe and my creative crew to really bring this thing to life. Ash Thorpe made us some absolutely incredible images of it. And I love this project. And the thing is, my Ford contract was up at the beginning of this year, but this is just a project I really love and I would like like to see come to life. Ash and I have some really dumb out there ideas some days. Fire and smoke, old cars with gold tires, other elements of NFTs, sort of 8-bit type stuff. Have this multi-tiered thing coming together that I really love. All right, well, that's it. Once again, go to eternity.io, October 21st, 12 p.m. Eastern. Are you ready for your thumbnail? They understand YouTube, so they know. Yeah, yeah, they're YouTubers. They get it. Bigger smiles, pointed things. That's the thumbnail. There we go. Thanks right. for having us. Yeah, we figured we'd invite you guys back out. Because actually, you've never... I'm pretty sure I invited myself. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of true they did, didn't they? We know who you guys are, but tell the camera who you guys are. Daily Driven Exotics, Bad Ideas, and Supercars YouTube channel. Same stuff as you guys. Just bigger wallet. No, just deeper credit line. <laughs> Sick. Nice. Wait, so you're Canadians living the American dream. That's right. Well done, well done. Yeah. Do you own a house or do you just own cars? I wanna know how bad your like financial decisions are. I got my first house last year, but technically do you own a house that's mortgaged? The no, no, home. you don't own a house. So you just, own the debt. I'm renting from a bigger, richer person. So what did you guys do to this? Nothing really other than supercharger, wheels, lower, basic crap. What went here? Did that not come here? Did this, this, this model didn't come with one. When I picked the car up, it wasn't there. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am currently considering chopping the roof off of something just because of how comfortable. He <laughs> hasn't even got out of the car to do this interview. No, no, he's, no. He's still he's sitting down. There is no okay. in-car, out-car barrier Nothing. to slow down conversations. Yo, imagine going to the drive-through in this. And they arrest you. They just, they don't even ask you to get out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's yeah. It. it does have doors, but technically you just, you know. It's a race car bed. It is. It's a race car bed. Yeah, but it's a sweet car. Seriously, did you guys cut the roof off of this thing? Or the windshield did it come like this? They do make a version of the Lamborghini that kind of looks like this, but it has more of a center console thing. So let's explain the history of Lamborghini's windshieldless cars. They made what was called the Gallardo S Concept, which you can Google. It had no windshield, but like you said, it had a little bar down the center. Then eventually they made the Aventador J, which had no bar. It looked just like this. It had a kind of a little hump that's actually all blacked out that looks similar to our little black windscreen. Then they just made Huracan Evo Aperta yes. V10, which is this, and they made a V12 for a client one-off build in China. Those are the only two windshieldless cars in 2020. Can you just be real with us? This is a kick car, because this VIN number says Polaris Slingshot. Damn, he stole your joke, yeah, Dan. Stole joke. He stole Dan's <laughs> joke. <laughs> when Dave's dudes first rolled up, he said, You're the king of stealing No, jokes. I'm giving him the credit for it. Get him with the joke, Dan. It's, 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 it's already happened. happened. Joke. Don't be out here Dane cooking, motherfucker. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, wow, thank you. Yo, don't you guys like have moose and shit in Canada? Yes. Well, that's gonna be fucking suck to hit a moose with, man. <laughs> By the way, there's an entire law that was created in Canada, which is like the moose law, which is the reason why your A pillar sucks in your car. Because back in the day, you had these real skinny A pillars, and then a bunch of people died from hitting mooses. So they had to build you know, the old moose law. The old moose law. Yeah. Not to be confused with the moose knuckle law. Totally different story. <laughs> oh, wow. In there, get in there. There you go, there More you importantly, go. tell me what it feels like when you're there and there's nothing in front of you. Feels like a KTM. 
Yeah, right? ATM. Is this rear wheel drive? Yes. This car is rear wheel drive and it has a VF engineering supercharger. So oh, this is in rips. It makes 800 horsepower. Should you drive it with a helmet like on the street? So or do you my just rules. glass? Zero, zero to 50 if you're in town. Legally, by the California state law, you can wear sunglasses and cruise. My rule is anything over 60 miles an hour, you need to wear a helmet. This is too violent. The wind hits Did you. Did you guys bring a helmet? Yeah. Cool, so you could probably hit 60 in this yard. You scumbag. So this obviously has no windshield and you can't explain why. It's got some nice marble from the uh, Home Depot aisle. Yeah, we got- The little Formica. Is this open in the back or no? No. Fenders. No, it's uh, funny enough. It. This is only an access panel, so you can do things like service the engine whenever you need to do that. I don't Mongo, know. Mongo, bring out the grinder. I don't can know Can you that open happens. the access panel? Yeah, sure. Oh, we can see enough, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, no, there really. There she is. You can huh. probably just see through here. Uh, neon yellow supercharger right there. So they've designed this specifically so you can't touch it. Yep. Yeah. Wait, so does it have a top? Because like, there's not even glass in the door. I like the exhaust. Thank you. That's Very nice. Perfect. So this thing shoots fire. It actually doesn't. So it has no windshield. It has no fire. It's got some forged carbon. Yes. It's which it's looks like Formica. Yes, slightly lowered. Got some wheels from Vorsteiner who makes the Home Depot carbon that, as you like to suggest. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know like Borstein. it, by the way. I like it too. I'm just, like I'm it. just busting your balls. You're being yeah. really rude. <laughs> this is not rude. This is, this is pretty much me. Anybody want to drive it before I drive it? I think he said yes first. I think everybody needs to experience it. You drive it first. You sure? Yeah, you go first. Should we leave this here? Should we leave the So we had a conversation on an episode that you probably won't see before you see this because it's super top secret. I said that I might need some storage in Canada for a car I bought. And he said, well, that's funny. I might need some storage for a car that we own in Los Angeles. Mine is a $3,000 Audi. Yours is made by Audi. Yes. Yeah, so it's pretty I, much the same thing. Same, it's a fair pretty trade. much the same it's thing. It's a fair it's trade. trade. It's got a lot of slopes though, so it's gonna be hard to stack boxes on it. <laughs> no, it's yeah. No, I actually thought we could just park the warthog right on top of it. <laughs> yep, that's okay, how we're gonna park really it. Well. It would crush okay. this car. Are you taking a photo of this? You never yeah, take photos rough. of cars. Well, you, are you liking this? Is this no, you, Dan? I just wanna. Have you seen Damon on any of our shows? No. Okay. Well, he's crashed. Pretty much 90%. <laughs> Can we clarify crash? In the burn yard, I stop purpose. before the wall and then line it up and get into the wall. Crash, but you know what I mean. Can we technically show the, the, the video? The one and the other one. Yeah, can we technically? That's a crash. Because you can't see why we're there. Just we can show that, right? Oh yeah, we can clip that. Yeah, we can. <laughs> ah! Get in the car, let's drive. Get in the car and drive? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Is he the kind of guy to blow up his car? You hear those tires just sticking. thing isn't overheating by now. Yeah, a little bit of there. Uh, you just ruined the resale value, bro. <laughs> Should we throw a few more like soft obstacles out I can purposely hit? What do you want, a little donut box? A bit more yeah. barrels. The barrels are cool. Yeah, we got the barrels. Let's do it. Alright, round two. We just put more barrels out there for him to hit. Perfect scumbaggery. <laughs> Yeah. 
Tire smoke, wheel speed, 67 and a half. That's high. Is that like the Bruce Lee training? Because Bruce Lee used to like punch. punch. Yeah, I get the... What are you gonna do with those hardened elbows? Though? Nothing, actually. I have no idea what you do with hardened elbows. <laughs> <laughs> 